All right, so uh, in calculating average atomic mass, everyone, so there's two things you need to take into account. You need to take into account the individual masses of the isotopes of an element, right? Isotopes, remember? The different yeah. versions of the element, okay? So the isotopes of an element all have the same number of protons in the nucleus, but different isotopes have different number of neutrons. So that's why you see here silicon, okay? Let's say this is 28 grams per mole. And I just added these numbers just for sig figs if you, you know, if you want. But really this is just uh, like atomic mass, but we'll work with grams. So 28 grams per mole, uh, the isotope uh, that has uh, another one of silicon, 29, a mass of 29, and then a third one, a mass of 30. So if we're trying to find the average atomic mass, what we have to take into account is the masses of each uh, isotope and the abundance. So, <clears throat> for example, most um, element or most atoms of silicon would have a mass number of 28 or we say 28 grams per mole, we'll say. Okay? So that's, this is the mass of the most common isotope of silicon. So when we, do, uh, when we find the average, you have to do a weighted average. So, for example, 28, we would multiply the mass times the relative abundance as a decimal. And that will give us this actual number. That's the amount of mass that this isotope is going to contribute to the overall mass. <clears throat> and so we do the mass times the abundance plus the second mass times its abundance plus the third mass times its abundance. Okay? And again, the abundance is just what percentage of all silicon atoms would, would this isotope be? And so it's just a weighted average, just a mathematical weighted average. So when you add up all of these parts, you get um, an average atomic mass. And with three sig figs, uh, 28.1 grams would be your answer for this one. Okay? So mass times relative abundance. I'll come back to this if you're, if you're copying this down. I'll come back to it. But I'll just show you one other example that we did. Okay? Here's another example. We're talking about neon here, okay? So we have neon 20, uh, having a mass of 20 atomic mass units, 22 is 22 and so on. So what's the average? Well, you need the abundance here and the abundance of each is given on this table. So we, we simply go 20 times the abundance of that isotope as a decimal and then we add to that the mass of the second isotope times its abundance as a decimal. And so when you add up these two numbers, you get this and that is the... Uh, the average atomic mass, okay? It's, it's very similar to, you know, your grades in, in chemistry, let's say. Chemistry grades, right? Chem 30. Let's say you got an 88 uh, on your report card at the end of the year right before the final. So this 88 is worth 80%, let's say. And the mark that you get on your final exam is worth 20%, right? So this is how you calculate your overall grade. And if you wanted a 90, let's say, well, you would have to tr try and figure out what, uh, you know, mark you need to get on your final. But it's a weighted average. Yeah, I don't know if you could get to 90. You'd be pretty close. But um, let's, say you, uh, let's say you got a 90 on your final. Well, your overall grade would be calculated as a weighted average, just like we did in this question. So your grade, oh, let's get out of here. Your grade would be 88 times 0.80 plus 90 on your final times 0 0.20. And so your overall average, it wouldn't, wouldn't bump your average up much at all. Why? So it's 88.4. That's your overall. Now why? Because this 88 was weighted so heavily. So your overall mark is going to be very close to this. Even though it did go up just a little bit. Okay? That's, that's how this works. It's the same, same way. Does that help clear things up? Yeah? Okay, any other questions about Wait. average atomic mm -hmm. mass? Mm -hmm. Wait a minute, then if you get zero on the second pass, you're still there. And yeah, yeah, so technically on that question, if you get zero on your final, now, <laughs> it's not good. But if you get zero on your final, then what? You don't stay with an 88, right? No, you don't stay with an 88. Because look at, you only get 70. Yeah, because you, you take 80% of that mark coming in. If you got zero in your final, now you'd still pass, but you drop by almost 19%. Or 18%. Yeah, you still pass. 
but you suck. <laughs> That's what that means, which is not good. Yeah, you just write. No, you don't get any marks for your name. No. Okay, this 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 video is over.